Um, I think uh, we've had a very interesting time in, in this farm, Sefa Inn Farm, mm -hmm. where we've been able to visit uh, the owner of this particular farm. Mm -hmm. We're keeping uh, 1,100 cows that is milking mm -hmm. and 1,000 heifers. Mm -hmm. It is interesting because, just like we've said before, that with advancement in technology and the technological transfer, there is so much that we can do in our country. It is interesting to find that the average production of one liter of one cow here in Sefain Farm is to the tune of 42 liters of milk every every day. So with this kind of uh, uh, farm and uh, having learned quite a lot from this farmer, there is something that I think when we get back to our country, we will be able to share with our farmers, we will be able to continue keeping in touch with the owners of this particular farm so that whatever we want to do, how to change the genetics of our animals mm -hmm. for maximum productivity is uh, something that uh, the, this team is willing to mm -hmm. willing give us support in and I am very proud and very happy to have visited this particular farm because it has given me a complete and different uh, way of thinking on how animals or how dairy cattle how their farming should be and I want to thank you uh, Mr. Sefa in farm Mr. for such ramming offer, ramming offer for yeah. such a uh, great uh, achievement and I want to wish you well. The other the, the, the farm that uh, we were also able to visit here in Kenya in uh, Israel is a farm that is, is Netafim. It's Netafim that are specialists in uh, irrigation farming and uh, they are very, uh, very, uh, very uh, specific in their model of irrigation. Their pre the irrigation system is precise. They are able to irrigate the, 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 the plant to the root, meaning that the level of uh, conservation or the, uh, or the level of optimal utilization of the little water that they have doesn't go to waste to the extent that their fertilizer and water is mixed to the right proportions so that the farm or the plant is able to get the right, the right uh, nutrients that it is so uh, required. So it's uh, such a great experience to be here in, uh, in uh, Israel to learn on how we can be able to work together, how we can be able to partner together because the area that we are here is completely arid. This is an uh, is even worse than Trukana, it's worse than Marasapit and um
come back while they are out and the holding center is played for two groups, so two groups are out, so when they are out, the factor comes. The manure and distribution. So when they come back, they have like a bed, clean bed. And it comes with the so they have ventilators and they have also cooling system above their heads when they are eating. So you know how. They